now from yeah. the side of Deuce Vaults, they have to figure it like they see that they're they're getting caught off guard left right up down they got to keep that <laughs> in check and I think that comes into play that when the mid game approaches here homeboys might have a little bit of the advantage um, but also Deuce Vaults right they're they're going to be coming online I think they're going to get more defensive so the the bursting that homeboys has right now could fall off into the late game uh so i think right now deuce vaults both teams are 50 50. hmm so with that again oh hold on top lane again gonna be able to find the knock up here kill bomba gonna be a trouble here one more hit away gets the region though can he land a shot udil looking for it but not gonna be able to connect anything here lord's now up though both teams gonna be working on it. Eternal Guard coming down, crashing down, gets the flicker. Zorn still on the fight back for Sunset Lover. Meanwhile, Deus Vault working on this Lord. Sapat goes in, Chibi trying to get the turn. He gets the Lord, takes it from under their noses. And with that, Deus Vault strikes some kills, but they lose the Lord to homeboys. Yeah, and I, one of the key plays to point out there is that Magister tried to utilize the Dayto Daytona welcome on to uh, uh, Chibi, but missed. And Chibi was able to dash in and secure the Lord. Oh, oh. Violet! Again, Zorn right there. Sunset Lover going to be in trouble now. Kid Bomba once again alongside Magister. Still a couple hits away, couple shots. Net's going to be able to grab it. Still working for it. Two down, Deus Volt. Resources for the taking. Lord on the top side. Homeboys are looking to make the play. Yeah, and I mean, there's two down on Deuce Vault. Full Lord kind of barreling down. I think homeboys at this point are going to be... This is a good Lord for them. Allows even more breathing room. And the 50-50 now leaning into the favor of homeboys. They're able to utilize this Lord to clean up the map and essentially take out a lot of the towers. And Deuce Vault's going to have a hard time now, right? Because they're not going to have the, the escapability that homeboys has. Uh, and it's just... It's crazy to see the homeboys' aggression. They're they're just breaking apart Deuce Vault's uh, just tactical plays here, and yeah. I think they're they're taking advantage of the mistakes that Deuce Vaults are making. It's great too because for homeboys, they they were able to get this lead that they needed. They have the space to work around with. Deus Volt, though, they have to be able to find their own pickoffs, right? They have to be able to utilize what they've right done here. so far, and they could be doing it right here. Daytona's a welcome into the wall, into the Eternal Guard. Udil's out of the picture. They get the flicker out from the rest of the team. Still working on it, though. Mid turret, though, as well. Good BMI on the defensive earlier. Now, time's journey going to be taken out. Sepot gets the kill on Sawo. He goes for more into the blazing duet. Nets chasing him down, trying to get the kill. He gets it on Sunset Lover. Still going for more. They have to respect the damage from Deus Volt. But what a battle here in the mid lane. Yeah, and look, they're about to get Bomba in a little bit of trouble. Oh. Still going to be in trouble. Kid what? Bomba regens it back. Gets the kill. But look at the mid lane. He goes the one to fall. Sapat again is insane on this Lapu Lapu. Tanks some damage. Eventually goes down. Double for Kid Bomba. <laughs> Both teams are just like, it's like a rock'em sock'em robot match at this point. One goes <laughs> down, two goes down, three goes down, and then they just they can, can consistently keep up the battle. And again, I think that's the 50-50 mark, and it's just tenacity on both sides. Um, it, it could be any anybody's game at this point. We are seeing Deuce Folds kind of coming online now. Their damage is starting to scale up into this mid-game, and just the burst that homeboys brought into the early stage isn't there we can kind of take a look at some items we do see claude look at this almost has everything built already so i feel like that's going to be a key factor oh. there oh oh my the back door the back door they're going for it this is exactly what i was talking about the nothing but nets play but he's also alongside one more as they push into the base they have to deal with a deus vault they can't even commit to this board right now. The pressure's too much. Do they want to fight for this? Sunset Lover picking up the Divine Glade in the midst of the fight. Lord's going to reset, though. The pressure already put on. Homeboys regrouping here. 
still working on it, holding the Lord under that half health mark. One fourth still going. Setpot's gonna be jumping in. Detona's welcoming in the wall. Will get taken out. Now still gonna be out and out. Chibi gets the Lord. Oh, it all breaks through. Hiko trying with the torn apart memory. Udil still able to survive. Look at the shots though. The damage from Novaria. Able to get two down of Davis Vault. They lose the Lord as well. They're on the defense once again. I gotta say, right now, Homeboy's retry game is on point, right? It's just Homeboy's they're 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 securing a lot of the neutral objectives. Second Lord going into their favor. Deuce Volts has to respond to this, you know. In the beginning, I I suspected that Deuce Volts comp was a little bit better, but it goes to show that Homeboy's is just bringing that aggression left and right. Lord now barreling down full HP on the left side. Can they mount up a defense here? I don't think homeboys can take it here, but we'll see. We'll see. They're going to have to deal with this. Lord making quick work of it. So still holding on the best they can. Right now, homeboys, though, waiting for the next They're wave looking. to push in. They want to get this mid and bottom turret down. Poke damage is going to be there. Still holding it together. Eternal Guard also playing that front side. And right now, Deus Volt keeping these two turrets in the base. That it's good. This is the defense that Deuce Volts needs. And I think they're they're essentially going back to the drawing board in game at this point. They need to, to find and take control of the map. The river control is gonna be a key factor here. You were saying it earlier, Naisu, is that I think that they really need to get a pick, right? And a key pick as Nets is zero or two zero and four hasn't been stopped just yet. And I feel like that is the winning factor for homeboys. Now also the Bratz is having a hard time getting his stacks. Look at the little dino on the field. He is just so tiny. <laughs> and I think that's kind of playing into a factor on the Deuce Volts is that not having their jungle, not having control of the map is being, it, it's rough. It's rough. And uh, that's why we were talking about in the draft here, G. The tempo that was going to be set, you know, and for, for that early game, Deuce Volt did have that little bit of lead. And homeboy Ooh. is able, wow, look at the Nets playing uh, very risky here, but we'll be fine. But again, tempo, and like you said, Chibi's been on point with a lot of those retributions so far. Yeah, controlling it. Zorn, this is what we were talking about as well. The roam potential here. He's going to get spotted out with Kimbomba. Not sure if they actually just want to continue to commit. They don't. He's back to safety. All this, the push and pull, 30 seconds away from the Lord. Yeah, and again, I mean, we can kind of look at Claude full build, Brody missing one item, but almost at a, the damage point. Now, the the biggest difference is that we we are seeing both have uh, Wind of Nature's already secured, um, and Homeboy's controlling the map again. I think this is the hardest part that Deuce Volts is fighting against is that they're just they're trying to take what they can but if they walk into a bad position it could make it or break it for them homeboys are trying to trap them into that and you can already see here yeah right now once again the fight for the lord half health here both teams waiting patiently chibi on point for the majority of the game it's gonna kind of reset nothing just yet soft reset for now still pulls it out of the pit Deus vault has to be careful how they approach it. Look at the pressure, though, already in the mid lane. Zorn gonna find the knockup on Kid Bomba. Takes a couple shots. Nets has to back off, though. Sunset lever on the hunt. Ooh. Does have the immortality. It's gonna get popped here. They have to fight this out. Still gonna be going. Look at the damage, though. Chibi comes through. Finds the execution. Gets the double on Hiko. Finds more. Still working. Sunset lever is gonna be down. Three down so far. Looking for the fourth. Kid Bomba gets the kill. But another member on the run. Still looking. Chibi. Finesse. Looking for Kid Bomba, one he hit away, but the shot from Udil, and that will make oh it for God. homeboys as they take game one. Wow, that was crazy. Homeboys being able to take game one, Deuce Vaults pushed back against the wall there. Some of the items, when you see the Hawes Claws being picked up, uh, by the Bruno at this point. And I think that the sustainability to that they need CC picking up the brute force early on. Um, it doesn't seem like they're too worried about magic damage yet, as well as, uh, you know, boots haven't been completed yet, oh. but the pressure. 
Hiko going to be a trouble. Oh, that's the power of this Harif pick and why we see it banned out so often. Also an early Starlium Scythe locked in on the item. Oh. Sal going to be in trouble now. Three members here on the top side. Can't get out of it. Magister a little bit too late. Udil here as well. Sunset Lover and Magister trying to hold down the turret. Turtle now up though. Homeboys furthering the gold lead. Nearly at 4,000 ahead here against Deus Volt. Yeah, and it looks like we're going to be getting into the next turtle here. Deuce Vaults really need to stop oh. this snowball that's happening by homeboys. So they're going to be trying to Udil. Going to be in trouble. Has the passive available, though, but won't be able to get out as he falls. Hiko picks up the kill. Dave's Volt now eyes on this turtle. Chibi trying to keep up that front side. Sapat as well. Trying to own them out. Do they want to give this up? Do they want to fight for it? Chibi. Still going. Magister going to get zoned down a little bit. Onward, not going to be able to connect. Chibi gets the turtle. Flicker comes through. Gets out of there. So right now, homeboy's happy with the objective. Chibi oh going to jump my. in into the Lecto final blow. They go under the turret. Set pot still alive. They find Kid Bomba in the brush. This is just speechless right now. Homeboy's executing everything perfectly. And we can already see another clash. Oh, Hiko can't withstand the damage. The Glacier gonna come down. Won't be able to find Sunset Lover. Meanwhile, Magister now trying to get away from this. Gets the heart guard. Still gonna be going. Chibi jumps in. Stops them from going, but they're not gonna get more. So Pot with a big item pick up here as well. Yeah, and I mean, it looks like Homeboy's going to take possibly this mid turret. They're zoning them out. Homeboy's have to keep this snowball up. Oh, this could be. They still get the turret. They're going to be happy with that. Chibi still wants to be able to fight, though. Sunset Lover, the damage is too much to deal with. Now Sopat here against Magister. Does he want to go for the kill? Going to jump in. Still goes for it. Has to use the Retry to get away. Will be fine. Homeboys, though, pushing on the gas here. I mean, they are definitely pushing Deuce Vaults against Ooh. the wall. Deuce Vaults at this point really need to kind of step back. And I don't know what could possibly be stopping them from getting missing the retry, but Kibamba! Wow. Even oh with the vengeance, God. it doesn't matter, G. It does. It doesn't look matter. At this. Chibi still wants some more. Magister the target. The rest of the team going to try to help him out. Hard guard going to come through. Still going to be fighting. There's the Glacier coming down, even with it all. He will be fine. The fight for the resources, though. Chibi knows it. They already got the hard guard dealt with. Still going to be putting the pressure once again on this side of the map of Deus Volt. Divine Glaive as well picked up for Udil. If there wasn't enough magic damage, it's even <laughs> more deadly now. It is, and they're already zoning out for the first Lord Homeboys, controlling a bit of the map. Oh my God, CPAT into the top lane, taking out Heiko. Oh, still going to be going once again. Magister, the flicker from Zorn, looking for more though. The pressure is there. Now Sunset Lover going to be the one in trouble. Three members are gone. Make it four for Deus Fault. It's only mm. Sao. This is dire for Deus Fault. This Homeboys now makes the way for the Lord. First one of the game, and Sapot will continue to push the top side. Uh, you said risky. We got risky. Not only did we get risky, we got major aggression by homeboys. The snowball effect is engaged, and we can see Deuce Bolts. They need to find a response. They keep going in and testing homeboys, and they're uh, again, I think it's going to come back to that they're going to have to mount up a great defense. They do have the ability to do that, right? Kid Bamba, though, being farmed up alongside Magister, Mid game coming in, we could see a little bit of a, a scaling happening by Deuce Vaults as they are securing a bit of the the magic uh, resistance that they need against this magic he magic heavy team that Homeboys has. Lord kind of rumbling down in the land of dawn. How is Deuce Vaults going to respond to such an aggressive Ooh. attack? Tough for them to deal with. Look at the backside. Sapon gonna jump in. Got a little okay. aggressive there. Ends up falling. One versus three. Was trying to just put the pressure. Still, Lord going to be making its way top side right now. Deus Volt, full force, five man. Going to try to defend this. Still, does Homeboys actually want to continue to press this situation here? It looks like they won't. 
Again, even though Sapat went down, they still got a little more space to work with around the map based off that first Lord push, but ultimately not able to get any more damage on these base turrets. I like this, right? Homeboys not forgetting that they didn't get the tunnel vision. This is what we see from a lot of teams is that when that first Lord is secured, they, and again, I mean, CPAT had a little bit of tunnel vision there and they go a little bit too deep and uh, paid for it. But again, that just, again, the whole team didn't get tunnel vision. We do see a little bit of a resource fight here. All of Deuce Volts oh. here. Gonna use that electro final blow once again. The pot trying to focus down sunset oh level. God. We'll be able to get him. He goes falls as well. Two down for Deus Volt. Still gonna be finding Magister trying to get out from Nets. Still alive though. Quite tanky himself. Kid Bomba, the next target. Three members of Deus Volt hold on the force from Homeboys. Knock it on the base now. Mid turret gonna be focused. It falls now. The top side. The focus for Homeboys. We'll eventually get this as well. Deus Vault, a couple more seconds. Their full team will be back here. But Lord up in 30. What can Deus Vault do here? Gee, they're almost 9,000 behind. I mean, I think they've just been making mistake after mistake, kind of leaving the comfort of their base is what homeboys wanted, and they just fell right in their grasp. Right now, I... I mean, if they could possibly get an easy pick, that might be where it's at. But the it's the snowball effect on homeboys is just a little bit too much. I think if they attempt to engage for this Lord, they might pay for it. And I think that uh, Deuce Vaults needs to stay passive. But again, they're being a little risky. And this might be the only chance that they have for this Lord as it is going to be the second one. So I think it's reached its enhance point. They waited to, to they waited past that 12 minute mark and Deuce Vault's definitely opting to stay back at the base again. I think the only thing they can do at this point is turtle up, hope for a decent play. Maybe Sunset Lover able to get the Frigid Glacier from Udall here. And that might be that that might allow them to stop a, a huge push, but I think that's about the only thing they can grasp for at this point. Man, and with that, again, we've seen this so far, even in the previous series, right? When you're down this much gold, it, it gets very tough, right? For the team that's down nearly 10,000 gold at this point. Kind of at the whims, once again, of the set potential from homeboys. So Deus Volt, the lanes how do they pull synced. this through? Once again, lanes are synced. Lord in the mid, still going to be going. Heart Guard's going to be there. The find the connection in the backside. Magistar is going to get taken down easily, though. Sepan on the backside finds Hiko, takes him out of the picture, and they are going to do it just like that. Homeboys takes the My entire God. team out. It's a wipeout. It's a triple for Nets, and they'll take this series in a sweep. They send Deus Vault out.